So now in chapter seven, uh, it explains the whole Fang and La, Fang and Vanil thing in a flashback because uh, Fang's talking to the Lightning about what happened, and we get to learn a bit more of what's going on. And I'll even explain a bit more about it because there's a few things in the cutscene that, you know, doesn't really make sense. But we will talk about that. Well, what we've done. All we could do was wander cocoon, looking for what we'd lost. <laughs> Let's give up. Forget our focus. We don't need it. We don't need it? Look, if we don't figure it out and pull it off, you're gonna be a Seath. It's just... making a kid that young a Lassie? It's not right. Yeah, it's unfair. But guess what? We grin and bear it like good Lassie, or the Falsy starts making more. Like that girl the other day. It doesn't matter what our focus is. We do it, whether we like it or not. But... Say we call it quits. You think these people will let us go? They'll lynch us in the street. <sighs> Listen, Vanille. We do what we gotta do, and get ourselves off this filthy world as fast as we can. Fine. You get out of here first. I'll buy you some time. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, now, don't you worry. I'll come and find you, no matter where you go. care of them all? Vanille was long gone. After that, Reigns and his cavalry found me. I never stopped searching for Vanille, but I couldn't find her. Her or I focus. So, you're telling me Sarah will come back to life someday too? Yep. We didn't do our job right. That's why it made her a lessee. We messed up. Sorry. <clears throat> that it? You sure better hope so. But whether we're square, that's up to Sarah. You sound exactly like Snow. And he didn't hit me. Wait, he already knows this? Wow. That's a load off. <sighs> Glad I apologized. You apologized so you'd feel better? Guess so. How about you? Feel any better now that you hit me? It didn't change anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell that to my jaw. Felix Heights is up there. Still a ways before we get to Hope's place. Better pick it up. We'll head through that gate. Right. So, believe it or not, we were actually nearing the end of Chapter 7. This is a really long motherfucking chapter. But anyway, so what we, what we just heard was uh, Fang and Vanille are sisters, like I said. And uh, Fang mentions that, uh, well, or I should say Vanille says it's not fair to be able to see. They can't just do that. We're, we're too young and Fang's like tough shit. And it's like, oh, we have to fulfill our focus. I mean, we, we don't want to end up like, you know, a Seath and... I feel really bad about that other girl that just got turned into a, a, a let's see, and that and that girl, other girl was Sarah, 
that other girl was Sarah. Um, and if you read in, read in the data logs, that it, it says that uh, Vanille and Fang found Sarah in the uh, vestige. Um, and, th and this is probably during Chapter 1, maybe even before Chapter 1. But, uh, but the uh, vestige was the Chapter 2 level where Lightning and the crew find Sarah. And um, yeah, so Fang and Vanille found uh, Sarah there. And they're pretty much responsible for making Sarah a lessee. And that's why uh, Lightning slaps Fang across the face. And I guess at that point, Lightning's still kind of a bitch because she's like, it, it, it didn't change anything. But you know, it did, it did. But later on, Lightning becomes way cooler. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, we learned the, uh, all that awesome stuff. And um, yeah. Oh, and just going back to the boss that we fought before this chapter where we were snow and hope um i beat him with the five star ranking and i was really underdeveloped so you people who, who are actually playing this game you better damn well beat that boss too because if, if you can't beat that boss you have no fucking excuse because i'm four hours into this damn campaign level i'm way underdeveloped and i got a five star so you should have no problem taking him out and i'm skipping all the enemies because i'm mlg pro and uh, here's another cutscene. God, I love all the cutscenes in this game. This is a great chapter. I love it. Okay, let's get Snow on the line. Ah, damn thing still jammed. Ugh, he can take care of himself. We'll just have to believe that. Hey, Fang. Hmm? The others are safe, right? If any of us got caught, they'd make an announcement. Yeah, they would. They'd have to let everyone know that the big bad Lassie can't hurt him no more. These cocoon people, bunch of cowards and blowhards. These cocoon people have spent centuries under Falsi law, in constant fear of a pulse invasion. If it weren't for Sarah, I'd have been out there too, hunting Lassie. Would have been nothing but targets to me. Well, Grand Pulse is just as twisted. Cocoon's a floating nest of vipers, ready to strike. Or so I thought. So, you became a Lassie to fight the vipers. And destroying the nest is your... I mean, our focus now. Uh, until we woke up here, we'd been in crystal stasis. Which means we must have completed our first focus. Ah, uh, why can't I remember that part? My childhood's clear as day. But the one thing I need, it's just gone. Blank, like an empty page. I reach for the memory, and nothing's there. Then there's my brand. It's all messed up. Vanille and me, we lost our past. And our focus. And now, you want to find them? Be a pulse, Lassie. An enemy of Cocoon? Pulse and Cocoon can rot for all I care. If I don't figure out our focus soon, Vanille's gonna be a Seath. I'll tear down the sky if it'll save her. So now Fang explains um, about Vanille and her focus and how she's trying to fulfill the focus. And uh, pretty much trying to find Vanille. And at, and at this point in the story, Vanille's with Zaz. And they're running away. And they're at Natalis. Or they're going to the City of Dreams, which is Natalis. And um, I bypassed those guys. Because that fight would have took forever. And I honestly probably would have died. 
Yeah, they almost get me again. I, I went after the item, but but then they went after me. I'm like, oh my, I'm like, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you guys. And here's another cutscene. I normally don't talk the cutscenes, but in this cutscene, Fang touches Lightning's boobs, and it's hot. No. Mm, no, huh? Yeah, sorry, Fang. I never got a chance to look up her fucking skirt. Want to know how long until it's Seath City? Just look at your brand. You start getting more arrows, and then finally an eye. Once it opens all the way, you're done. Let's have a look. By far my favorite moment. Okay. Hmm. Nowhere near. You got time. Still, you never know. Some people doesn't take so long. You get a nasty shock, it can speed up the process. Vanille's brand must be pretty far along by now. I gotta save her and get her home. To Pulse, you mean? To Grand Pulse. I hear that the Sanctum prevents people from leaving Cocoon. I'd like to see him try and stop me. So, that's your plan. Hmm? Wish I had one. Without Sarah, without a future, there's nothing to plan for. There's no way out of this mess, and no way to fight it. I'm stuck trading blows with the Sanctum, but that's no plan. Even if we topple the government, where's that leave us? With nothing to fight for, I might as well be dead. Your sister. You've got plenty to fight for. Think about it. Don't you want to see Sarah after she wakes up? That's your future right there. All you got to do is survive. <laughs> it's simple. Right. No, they found him. <laughs> I think it's one of the main reasons why I love Lightning so much is because she's a girl and that kind of scene, like boobs and shit. And I'll talk more about what I think about Lightning and like my character from Diversity and how that connects. Oh, and it's nothing sexist, so don't get offended. Yeah. <laughs> 